Hi, well, Minister Mark here of the Love and Healing Ministry International. This is the fourth report of the evangelism outreach in the village of Mangamba. I just discovered that it's not just with the children because parents are also involved. Praise the Lord. So I left for this outreach. I, it was raining and everything, but I was determined to go. I put my hand on the plow. And yes, I go with public transportation and the roads are sleepy and everything, but I brave it and I'm always so grateful. A few people um, supported so some stuff could be bought like boots for the kids, solar lights for Mama Marie, rubber shoes for Mama Elizabeth, and so I was grateful when I arrived in the village safe and sound, you know, and that is Marie, the first beneficiary, she had a school bag and boots and a, and a pair or two of shoes, and she was so happy, and um, yeah, there she is, ready for school, they don't have school uniforms, you know, so um, if you just wear a clean Mama dress and Lampo. everything, you're good, Mama. and uh, Mama. That's no, Mama Marie with her solar Please lamp. Bless you, Mama. Well, Just so, so Mother grateful. Marie, I don't know what you are talking about. In blessing oh, her uh, sponsor, you power. know, and stuff. I don't know what you are talking it yeah, was yeah, just yeah, wonderful yeah, the way yeah, the yeah. Lord provided for this. And that's Mama Elizabeth with her rubber shoes. I also got her smaller touch, solar touch, and, and slippers. And so there I am in the village after having distributed a few things I brought that first day only to get home and realize Mama Marie had already cooked some delicious food for me, you know, and um, actually my other uh, friend in the village, her husband had sent some bush meat for me, oh my goodness, and some neighbors were also waiting for me to talk with me. And um, all is well that ended well on that Friday. The next day, Saturday, I made some food, you know, so we could eat before I go for evangelism with the children and Marie, Marie came Mama to measure her <laughs> shoes and my God, they joined receiving she was over the moon, what are you talking about she's going to have good shoes to wear to school she was so grateful all that sweat, she just couldn't believe it that she's going to have boots and sandals and new slippers it was so wonderful and she just had to measure this before I went down so that by mistake I take it down there <laughs> And then when she came, other kids came, and um, those are their mothers there. You know, it's usually like that when I get the people come. That's me going for the um, outreach, and that's Junior, my assistant in the village, you know, carrying some of the things on his head and on the back while I carried some too. Yes, much, much marching. From our house to the palace is like two miles, I think so. And of course, you go on foot, right? And you wear boots because the roads are not the best, but um, that village life will like it. That's the little piece of land I have there, and my brother works on it, and I'm grateful. And before I got there, Junior had gotten there and gotten the kids to sweep and put out the chairs. I don't need to go to any house to call anybody now. Once they see me, they know it's time to gather. And we sing our anthem. I go clap, I go dance, I go sing, I go pray because jesus don't do me well so we are doing that while the others are coming and the kids are warming up and excited that we are going to watch some interesting thing again and we are going to share we are going to talk <laughs> So the song is in Pidgin English. What will you do today? I go jump, I will jump, I will jump. <laughs> oh my goodness. So interesting. I'm just so humbled and honored. Like what? Oh God. Yeah, teaching them to pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. <laughs> That's my friend Gobson sitting there already, came in on time. Only God alone has protected that child from the time he was born. Never worn a pair of shoes or anything. And that is, um, how do you call it, recall time. What have we been learning all along? And then now we pay attention and we watch and we watch. Because there are always going to be questions and answers at the end. So we have to be very careful to watch without making noise. And yes, the babies who cry, they come to me. 
I love babies anyway, so I'm always very grateful when they come. That speed back time. Wow. From what we watch on that day, what did you learn? What did you learn? Each person comes and says what they learn, and we clap for one another. Hey, if we watch one person, And there's still some who are so shy, you know, but uh, think gradually, gradually, they're learning. Okay. The boys applaudi. like the girls all show a lot of interest. Eh? The few mothers who come around, especially at the beginning, not those who come around only when it's time to eat rice. <laughs> he was so attentive, but now he's not speaking, and I'm wondering why. Eh? <laughs> oh, maybe he doesn't want to. Make a mistake. And there we praise again in Tali. Unchangeable God. Reliable God. Having someone come from the city and have their time like this is a big, big, big deal in the village. And so I also make sure that uh, we have the best time we can and oh, I'm not fighting, no. they have as much fun as possible. That was another baby candidate <laughs> come to sleep. And this is my little princess. Oh my god. She's she's a life of her own life. <laughs> it's dying, she's all over the place and yet yeah, there she is dancing. Hello. Yeah, you want me to dance? Of course I can dance. <laughs> Dance, baby, dance. Oh my God, sowing such seeds, you know, the little ones. It's really, it's really, really, really an honor for me. Oh yes, so we got joy, 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 joy. Oh my God. Joy, joy, joy. Joy, 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 overflow. Yeah. Oh my God. And that's the chief's mother and, and the auntie, they come, and they're the ones who always cook for us. I mean, we are just so blessed. That's how the palace. I, I, I used to, where are we going to help you still now, Father? Where? Where am I going to look for a small place? Am I going to start here? Oh, just so have we children come and God, you do not worry about nothing. But we sometimes have to learn the hard way, you know. And then it was time for item 11. And you see, the children in the village, they learn how to eat on their own so fast that you cannot feed nobody. Nobody wants to be fed. Everybody wants to feed themselves. We are so grateful. This is still rice from the back of rice that aunt, one of our aunties gave us. The next morning, I went for a long walk. And on coming back, a neighbor gave me sugar cane. Like I had been, I had wanted to eat sugar cane for so long. I was just so grateful that I finally had the opportunity to eat sugar cane. A Sunday afternoon was so serene. I was grateful. I didn't leave on Sunday because I had to go to the school. The next day, you know, one of my friends uh, sponsored 20 children in school this year. It's not evident in the village that parents even have money to pay for school fees. Some children don't go to school at all. So sending, paying for 20 children for one whole academic year, all their parents have to do is maybe buy some books and stuff like that. It meant just a lot for those parents. And, and so when I went to the school, some children just ran home and told their parents, ah, Mama Marie was here. One parent was there already. So yes, the other parents, the other mothers came. You know, fathers are probably going to the farm. And they came and they were saying thank you and talking to me about other things and I was like, Lord, they need oh, such a need, Papa. What do we do, Papa? But I know that he knows it all, so I can only do my own part and I'm just so grateful that I can brave it all, you know, to do it. Because, well, I could, I could not go. I could say, no, Papa, I don't want to go to that village. That's not my village. Who is there? I don't know me, nobody in that village and all of that. But no. Now that I am going, some signs and wonders are following. 
And so, yes, I was able to cheat myself to some ice cream on my way back because I have done my father's bidding and I'm so grateful. Amen.